Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make smoked pulled pork using a boneless pork shoulder. All right, I'm gonna get started by setting my smoker up. I'll be using my drum smoker today. I'll start by removing my cooking grate and heat deflector. And if you've got a Weber kettle, you can absolutely follow along to this video. Just follow the temperature guides and I'd use something like the snake method. And now I'm gonna fill the charcoal basket up. Then I'll bury a fire lighter in there and light it up. All right, so we've got about 10 minutes now before we need to go back to that charcoal. So we'll use that time to trim and season this boneless pork shoulder. Now I'm just gonna start by taking the rind off and we can do something else with this later. So don't throw it away. All right, so we've got our skin there. We're gonna put that aside and just trim the rest of this. I'm just gonna leave that top fat on, but I'm gonna trim off any silver skin and excess fat, even some thin edges underneath here. And a little boneless pork shoulder like this, you can pick one of these up for around 10 bucks a kilo, sometimes even cheaper when they're on special. But for now, this one is pretty much good to go. I'm just gonna trim off a little bit of that thin edge. And this is ready to be seasoned up. All right, so if you've got a favorite pork rub, go ahead and use that. But I'm just gonna use a combination of my honey soy slammer and steak shooter. I'm gonna start by laying down a base coat of honey soy slammer, and then we'll top it off with steak shooter. Make sure you mop up any excess seasoning you left on the cutting board. And now this is pretty much ready to go once our smoke is ready. All right, now our charcoal's caught light nicely. We can shut our lid, open both of our vents up and bring this smoker up to temperature, which for this cook is gonna be around 275 Fahrenheit or 135 Celsius. All right, and while our barbecue's coming up to temperature, I'm gonna get some smoking wood ready. I'm gonna go with a chunk of pecan and a chunk of nectarine. But if you've got another favorite smoking wood, feel free to use that. Something like cherry, apple, plum, peach, all go great with pork. I just personally love this combination of pecan and nectarine. So once this barbecue is up to temperature, we'll get our smoking wood on and then we can get our pork on. All right, now we're at temperature. We'll open our smoker back up. We'll get our smoking wood on. We'll get our heat deflector back in and our cooking grate then our beautiful bit of pork. And now we'll shut our lid and let this start to smoke away. All right, so for the first two to three hours of this cook, I don't really need to be touching that pork. All I need to worry about is maintaining a clean, steady burning fire. And in the drum, it is super easy. If my temperature stabilizes off a little bit below where I need to be, I just open my intake vent up a little bit, or if I overshoot my temperature, I'll just close it down a little bit. That's why I love the drum I'm using today. Your temperatures never really get away from you like they do in a Weber or an offset. So if you are currently using a Weber and you're looking to upgrade to another smoker, I definitely recommend a drum smoker. So I'm gonna let this pork shoulder smoke away now and I'll check back in once we're a bit further into this cook. All right, we are almost three hours into this cook and this little pork pork shoulder is looking amazing. Look at the bark on that. I reckon that is ready to wrap up. So we will get this out and onto some foil. And then we wanna wrap that up nice and tight. I'll just leave the top exposed for a moment. So I just wanna get a few tablespoons of butter in there. And then I'm gonna pour in around a cup worth of pineapple juice. If you've got apple juice, you can also use that. Even some apple cider vinegar works well, or if you've got any other favorites, feel free to use that. And then I'll wrap it up nice and tight. And that will go back in the smoker. And I'll get our pork skin in there, skin side down, and that should crackle up throughout the rest of this cook. All right, so with our pork now, it's all wrapped up, and I'm just gonna take that until it reaches an internal temperature of around 205 Fahrenheit or 96 degrees Celsius. I assume it's gonna take another couple of hours to get there, so if you've got a thermometer, Chuck one in now and we'll check back in later in this cook. All right, so while our pork's still going, we're gonna make a salsa we can use later on. I'm gonna start with one finely diced tomato, one finely diced green jalapeno, half a white onion finely diced, one half of a small red chili finely diced, the juice of half a lime, a good pinch of salt, cracked black pepper, then we'll give it a mix. Then we'll put that aside in the fridge to use later on. All right, so we've been wrapped up for around two hours now. So it's about three hours unwrapped at the start and then two hours wrapped. So around five hours in total into this cook. Just gonna check our internal temperature. Well, it's feeling very soft on that side. It's feeling quite good actually. And we're around that 208-ish sort of Fahrenheit or 97, 98-ish degrees Celsius. And our pork crackling, that come up good. I did scrape some of that fat on the inside of the skin off. 
a little bit overdone in some parts and not quite set inside there, but I'm happy with that for the most part. So what I'm gonna do is just lay down a tray and we will put our pork in there just in case our foil splits or anything. And then we'll take this away and take this out too. And we're gonna let our pork steam off for about five minutes just to stop that cooking process and we'll wrap it back up and rest it until we're ready to serve it. All right, so our pork's been resting for about 45 minutes now. I can't wait any longer. So I'm just gonna get this out and then we're gonna put our pork in the tray. We can add a little bit of the wrap juice and then you can add as much or as little as you like as you're pulling it apart. And then we're just gonna simply start pulling this apart. Now that, super tender. I and mean, look at that, nice barky bit. So soft and tender. And like I said, add any of the wrap juices in that you like, have a taste along the way, adjust it to your liking. You can add some barbecue rub if you want. What I'm gonna do is add a little bit of my jalapeno and whiskey barbecue sauce. Just gonna drizzle some of that over the top. Then we'll mix it through. Might even add a bit more of those wrap juices. And that is looking good. All right, and now I'll show you how I'm gonna use the pulled pork. So we're gonna spread over some of that beautiful meat. Then we'll go in with some sour cream, some guac, some of that pork crackling, and then that beautiful salsa we made earlier. And seriously, how good does that look? Time for a taste. All right, I think I've got a bit with everything on it. Mm. You already know what I'm gonna say. That's good. Seriously, that's got it all. You've got the crunch from the corn chip and the pork crackling. You've got that juicy, tender, flavorsome pulled pork, creaminess from that sour cream and guacamole, and then that zingy, fresh salsa, and then the cheese. That seriously has it all. That is so unbelievably tasty. So there you have it. There's how to make smoked pulled pork using a boneless pork shoulder. That was only about a five and a half to six hour cook, so a pretty quick one, but we turned out some amazing, tender, juicy and flavoursome pulled pork. And then we also turned them into some pulled pork nachos, which were super tasty. Definitely give them ones a go, but for now, that's the end of the video. So if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to my channel, give the video a thumbs up. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my nachos, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.